In J. M. Cutsey's novel Elizabeth Costello, 2003, the story revolves around the eponymous main character, Elizabeth Costello, an Australian author known for her somewhat controversial writings. Elizabeth, a mother of two with two divorces behind her, is a passionate writer whose work has gained notoriety. She makes appearances in several of Cutsey's other works, such as The Lives of Animals and Slow Man. At the outset of the novel, Elizabeth is on the verge of receiving a prestigious literary award, which carries both prestige and financial reward. During her acceptance speech, she discusses a Kafka story involving an ape addressing an academic audience, leaving the crowd intrigued, albeit somewhat perplexed. Elizabeth's son, John, accompanies her to the award ceremony. Soon after, Elizabeth is invited to lecture on the contemporary novel aboard a cruise ship, where she encounters Emmanuel Ergudu, a writer and a former lover. Emmanuel shares his concerns about African writers struggling to connect with Western readers, but Elizabeth argues that writers should focus on their own audience and cultural context. Elizabeth is again called upon to speak publicly, this time drawing a controversial parallel between the Holocaust and the slaughter of animals. Her audience is taken aback, and Elizabeth's own thoughts on the matter become muddled. After a 12-year hiatus from public speaking, Elizabeth visits her sister Blanche, a nun living in Africa. The sisters engage in a heated argument, with Blanche favoring the church and its doctrines over academic pursuits like the humanities, which Elizabeth passionately defends. They ultimately agree to disagree. Upon her return home, Elizabeth remains haunted by her conversation with Blanche and decides to write a letter to her sister defending the value of the humanities. In the letter, she recalls an episode when she posed partially nude for a painter at his nursing home. The novel is structured around Elizabeth's lectures, and her next speaking engagement focuses on the subject of evil. She plans to discuss Paul West, who researched individuals attempting to assassinate Hitler but were executed before they could succeed. Elizabeth criticizes West's work for its dark nature and contemplates whether to cite it in her speech. Rather than avoiding the issue, Elizabeth confronts West by informing him that his book will be the subject of her presentation. She then delves into her own experiences, recounting a traumatic event when she was brutally assaulted and her clothes set on fire. As Elizabeth reflects on the interactions between immortals and mortals and grapples with her beliefs, she finds herself in a purgatory-like state, where she must defend her convictions. However, her uncertainty leaves her stuck in this existential dilemma. The novel ends with Elizabeth facing a hearing to determine her fate, with readers left in suspense about the outcome. J.M. Cutsey, a highly acclaimed author, has received numerous literary awards for his work, including the Booker Prize, the Nobel Prize in Literature, the Irish Times International Fiction Prize, and the Pre Femina Etranger. His literary focus encompasses South Africa, politics, law, animals, and the concept of the South, which extends beyond geographic borders, including places like Australia. One of his notable research projects, Other Worlds, Forms of World Literature, explores these themes in depth. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.